lab is called Instant Salt Flats, and it's going to explain how one of the most common rocks on the surface of Utah is formed. I'd like you guys to pick up a sample. This is a sample of a rock called halite. I'd like you to lick that and tell me what halite is made out of. What is it? Salt. It, salt. Pass it across the table. Let's get some verification. The other scientists are going to lick it very carefully, and it is... Salt. Mmm, salt. Okay, so go ahead and put the halite down on the table. We're going to make our own salt flat. And salt flats are created when water falls in an enclosed basin. So take the cap off of your salt container and pour half of that into the salsa cup. And then I'd like you to put the cap back on the container and then fill your salsa cup about half full with water, about half full. Now, when it rains out in the west desert of Utah, the rain hits the mountains, and it absorbs the minerals that are naturally there in the mountains. So take your popsicle stick and start stirring. Stir, stir, stir. There we go, stir away. Now, as you stir the salt, it's gonna dissolve into solution. And this is exactly what happens in the desert. The rain hits the mountains, it absorbs the minerals from the rocks that are in the mountains, and then the water runs downhill. But the problem is that there, it doesn't go all the way to the ocean, it just collects in a basin. So, if you're on this side, take your finger, stick your finger in your cup, put your finger in your mouth, tell me what it tastes like. It tastes like? Salt water. Salt water. Salt water. Salt water. So pass your salt water across the table to the other half of your team, along with the tart pan. And you guys are now going to collect the salt water in an enclosed basin, so pour the entire contents into the pie tin. And it's a mixture of water and salt. But, Jasper, as the water evaporates, what's going to be left behind? The, the salt. Salt crystals, and it's going to produce halides.